Hello, my name is Donnie Wood with Geoprobe Systems. I'm the product line manager of the water well division. Just kind of want to introduce to you today the new Dromax DM650. This is our new air rig, uh, but I'm just going to walk around the machine today and show you what features we have. Uh, starting with the truck, we're using the Western Star 49X. This is a 600 uh, horsepower diesel engine with an 18 speed transmission. Um, this particular unit has two 100 gallon fuel tanks, one on the driver's side, one on the passenger side. Uh, there is an option that we can quote on this truck with a 13,500 pound uh, steerable axle. If you get that option, the fuel tank on the passenger side drops down to 60, uh, so that that machine would only hold 160 gallons worth of fuel. Uh, come back here to the back. Uh, we have our hydraulic tank that is uh, very easily drained here on the bottom. We have our clean outs, where if you have to uh, get in here to change your oil, you can take these off, replace the gaskets, wipe everything down clean. Uh, coming down to the back side of the uh, hydraulic tank are the uh, charge pressure filters uh, that we have. This is just a spin-on filter uh, with a uh, canister in it. Uh, four leveling jacks on the machine. The two front jacks are 48 inch stroke and the two rear jacks are 36 inch stroke. Uh, this is a 60 inch uh, steel toolbox, has uh, two uh, twist locks on it. Uh, we built this box in house, it's real nice and heavy duty. Uh, this is the receiver tank for the 1070 compressor, uh, holds about 45 gallons of oil. Uh, coming on back we have a really nice ladder that makes it really easy to get on and up off the deck. Um, real simple, it just folds up. There's a lock pin back here in the back and it just locks in place, ready to go. Uh, this is our uh, foam injector. Um, nice stand here, We've got the pump on the bottom. You'll just set your uh, foam right up here on top of this and hose comes over from the um, water injection that, that will suck it right out. This is our uh, 12 volt, it holds 10 gallon hammer lubricator. Uh, it does come with a cycle pump on it so that you can change the um, the amount of oil that it's using. Uh, here's the four cylinder bean pump. This is uh, zero to 18 gallons per minute. We have a flow control on the control panel that will control uh, the flow on that. Right here on the back is the ball valve that um, has the hose in it that goes to your foam injection if you just select that option. Uh, coming back here, we do have, um, this starts our air plumbing and we do have a T here with a plug in it in case you ever needed to add another auxiliary compressor to the system. Uh, this is a really new option for us here on our mud and air valves. We have hydraulic uh, controls that will open and close the ball valves from the control panel. Uh, this particular unit does not have the four by three mud pump, uh, but what we do is we go ahead and mount the discharge plumbing underneath here so that if down the road if it's decided you need the mud pump it's very easy to install. Uh, we're using the Doosan air compressor. This is the 1070 350 compressor. Uh, it has uh, two unloaders on it. We set one at 220 psi and one at 350 psi. So guys are using this for you know larger air rotary or down the hole hammer drilling. We'll go back to the control panel and take a look at that. All right, this is the new uh, DM650 control panel. Uh, we're going to start here. We have a really nice gauge cluster that shows you the pressures of all of your, uh, all of your pumps. Uh, down here at the end is the rotation pressure gauge. Uh, we do now have a torque limiter on the rotation so that you can control the torque that's on the drill string. Um, up top here, we have your uh, air pressure gauge. Uh, we have the rotation lube pressure which what this is, is uh, our top head, which I'll show you here in a minute, has its own uh, lubrication pump on the bottom. So there's no grease points on our top head. Uh, this gauge lets you see that the pump is working properly and that everything is getting the proper oil that it needs. Uh, same thing for the PTO lube pressure. Uh, this gauge lets you know that uh, your bearings on the transfer case are being lubricated. If you ever see either one of these, uh, pressure start falling off. It's an indication that you need to take a look that you have something going wrong there. A new MD4 display that we have in the panel. This uh, mostly what we do here is this just reads our engine gauges. Um, with piston pumps we're able to count strokes. 
Um, we also have some overrides uh, in here where if there's a failure on job site, we're able to help you get through some, some minor glitches. Um, rotation control over here. Like I mentioned before, this particular air rig does not have a mud pump, but if it did, your control would be down here on the bottom left-hand corner. Um, pull down pressure and hold back pressure right here next to each other. Very easy to, to control your, uh, your top head drill string. Uh, this is the water injection circuit we're talking about. It is a on-off toggle, and then you have flow control here to control the speed. Um, on the top head, we do have a two-speed motor. It's one motor, but it's two-speed, so you can control. You have um, high speed and you have low speed. In high speed, we go up to uh, 200 RPMs at 4,100 foot-pounds of torque, and by flipping it to high torque, you'll cut that down to 100 RPMs, but go up to 8,200 foot-pounds of torque. Uh, the winch on this machine um, this is a 17,500 pound winch. Again, this has a two speed motor. So in most cases, you're able to pull, you know, three, 400 feet of rod with your, uh, with your high speed winch. And if you're drilling deeper holes, you can swip it, sli switch it to a uh, high torque to get that full pulling power. A uh, pipe spinner system works both directions. You can spin rods together or break them apart. Again, by flipping the switch here. And then very easy to use all mechanical controls. Uh, this is your setup valve with your, uh, with your four leveling jacks, uh, your mass lock and your table. And then down here, your other cylinders, your, your uh, carousel rotate, your uh, top head slide right, top head slide left, uh, jib extend, uh, spinner and breakout. Um, then down here on the bottom corner is our feed circuit. We have our fast feed circuit, um, which this, we feel, gives us a big advantage on the air market. We've been able to, to put the mud rig speed in this uh, powerful air rig. So we have a very fast top head up and down. Um, this is very beneficial for tripping out of a hole, getting out of the hole faster, and also for uh, flushing a hole clean. Uh, two winches. Uh, we have our, again, we have our main winch, which is 17,500 pound. We do have a second option. If you don't need that, you can drop down to a 12,000 pound. And then on the sand line, you have two options. You can either get a 5,000 pound winch with 150 feet of cable, or for those guys that need to be doing geothermal or cathodic protection, we have a smaller 1,800 pound winch uh, that has 700 feet of, uh, 750 feet of cable. And then this is our regular feed circuit. So this is the valve that detents here, and then you'll control your pull down and your hold back over here. All right, so this is our hydraulic retract table. In the DM650, we have 24 inch of casing clearance. Um, engineers did a really good job on this table. As this table retracts back, uh, we have some cushion in this side of the table that allows you to very easily remove this pin so you can open the gate out of the way. Uh, we do have an air operated fork uh, that we can set up to use for three and a half inch drill pipe or uh, four and a half inch drill pipe with either two and seven eighths IF or three and a half IF. Our table bushings have two twist locks in them. Um, so de again, depending on what size drill pipe you have, if you have three and a half inch pipe, this would be a three and five eighths inner bushing. And if you have four and a half inch pipe, this would be a four and five eighths inch bushing. Um, when you take that bushing out, it allows you to set six inch casing. And then we have a second bushing in here that you can remove to set 10 inch casing. So anything 10 inch and smaller, you can set without retracting the table back. You get any bigger than 10 inch and you have to start retracting the table to get the casing down the hole. Uh, we do offer a uh, float sub option that's on this machine. If you don't want that, we just use our standard, um, our standard rigid subs. Uh, you can kind of see on the bottom of the top head here with this cover, that's where our lubrication pump is at. So that pump is taking the oil from that case and pumping it back up to the top of the box. Again, so this is no, no grease fittings on this top head. It's all self-lubricating. Uh, here are the, the spinner wheels that will come and, and clamp on your rod. Uh, we'll get a close up here in a minute, but these spinner wheels are, are five individual wheels. Uh, so sometimes they'll wear uneven. You can actually flip these wheels over to get more life out of them, 
or sometimes the top will wear faster. You can actually rotate just like car tires. You can take the tires on the bottom and flip them to the top and get more life out of your spinner wheels before you have to replace them. Uh, carousel on this rig, this is set up for four and a half inch rods. So this is a 10 rod carousel. Uh, right now uh, we have a travel lock on this carousel. So we have a locking pin right here that locks this in road mode. Uh, so a rod can't fall out when you're going down the hole. Um, we also have indicators over here that let you know when your carousel rotation is lined up in the, in the next spot. These are our winch controls that operate your main winch, the uh, jib system, and also the back feed system. Um, so what you can do from here is when your driller is drilling out of the carousel, uh, as he rotates to the next position, your helper has controls over here to use the winch. Um, he'll just hook the winch up to our, to our back plug, pick it right up out of the pipe rack, set it in the pod, and then up top, we have a gate that closes and we have a hydraulic spinner wheel up there that looks just like the one on the table. All you got to do is pull the lever here and that back, that spinning wheel spins our plug out of the rod and then it just drops down in the, uh, in the pod. Very easy to use, very safe to use. Um, so in other words, if a guy were, if you had an 800 foot well to drill, you could drill all 800 feet out of this carousel. You would not have to stop and do a different form. You'd be able to drill all 800 feet. Also on this machine up here on the top of the pipe rack, we have a stabilizer rack that's going to have a uh, 10 foot or a 10 inch diameter, 15 foot long uh, stabilizer. Uh, we do have an electric winch on this where the switch is right here at these controls. Uh, that winch will help you guide the stabilizer back so you don't have to have a person up on the deck, you know, pulling on the heavy stabilizer coming down out of the hole. All right, so this is the new DM650 air rig. We're very happy with how this has turned out. If you guys need more information on this machine, please look us up at geoprobe.com. You can call the office at 785-825-1842. Better yet, just come see us. Give us a call, set up a time, come out and take a visit with us. We'll take you around, we'll give you a tour, and we'll give you a live demo of the machine. Thanks for watching, we'll see you soon.